Elections are underway right now with less than two hours to go before polls close. WGEM's Claire Edlund is at the Adams County polling place right now to tell us how voter turnout is going. Claire. Daniel and Raja behind me right here at the polling place is where it all happens. Um, but right now you don't see too many voters and that's kind of um, that kind of represents just how the voter turnout has been here today. I spoke with the Adams County clerk a couple hours ago and he has a, he has a few reasons why he thinks that might be. Niekamp says yesterday the final day before early voting ended was by far the busiest for voter turnout. He believes many people don't want to gamble on deadline day in case something comes up of course. Niekamp also believes though voter turnout is low because this election primary isn't high, as highly contested as it was back in 2020. So it's kind of hard to predict, you know, where we're sitting at with voter turnout with the election day. Um, we won't know those numbers until this evening. Um, you know, with the primary, a lot of people have to come out and they declare a party. Um, I think sometimes that's a deterrent for some voters. Camp says mail-in ballots can also make it hard to see what voter turnout is like. Many ballots can arrive after election day. Now, if you're st still thinking about hitting those polls, you're in luck that you still got a couple hours. Polls officially close at 7 p.m. You can go here at the polling place, of course, but there's many other locations you can hit up. We'll have those location details on our website, WGEM.com. Live in Quincy, Claire Edlin, WGEM News. All right, thank you very much, Claire. Neecamp anticipates results coming through about 45 minutes to an hour after those polls close. Well, Hancock County vote.